Hi everyone, welcome back to Gido. Today we will show you how to replace your LCD screen display on the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2020 mobile phone. To start, we need the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, take out the back cover from the body. To remove the back cover, it needs to heat gently around the back cover edges until the pasted adhesive becomes soft. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the back cover side on the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till it completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Next, create an opening using a suction cup. And then, insert a plastic cup pry tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Next, hold the fingerprint button and pull out the back cover from the body. Next, undo 9 screws to take out the logic board frame with the lens. Next, disconnect the battery plug by raising the fingerprint button. Next, apply heat to pull out the battery from the body. Next, gently cut the adhesive under the battery using a pry tool. If needed, you can add some isopropyl alcohol to soften the adhesive. Next, gently pull out the battery from the body. Next, take out the SIM tray. Next, disconnect two antenna heads from the logic board. Next, release the tape and disconnect the LCD connector plug. And then disconnect the charging port connector cable. 
Next, undo the screw securing the logic board. Next, gently pull out the logic board from the body. Next, apply some heat to pull out the earpiece module. Next, pull out the vibrator motor by applying some heat. Next, take out the speaker cover by undoing six screws. Next, peel the charging port cable. Next, loosen both antenna cables from the body. Next, gently pull out the charging port board from the body. Next, eject the stylus. Now, the only remaining part is a broken front screen assembly with the frame. For the replacement, there are two screen types available. One is with the frame and the other one is without the frame. It can be original, refurbished, used or aftermarket. Either version you choose, you can get with the frame or without. But the most straightforward repair will be with the frame. And the price difference is not that much. I recommend you go with the screen with the frame installed. It can be original, refurbished, used to aftermarket and this type is commonly available to purchase. Next, on the new screen frame start placing the removed parts. First, secure the stylus pen. And then place the charging port board in the body. Next, secure the antennas on the frame. Next, secure the speaker cover by adding 6 screws. Next, secure the vibrator motor. Next, secure the earpiece module. Next, place and secure the logic board. Next, secure the logic board by adding the screw. Next, insert the SIM tray. Next, secure the LCD connector plug with the adhesive. And then connect the charging port plug to the logic board.
Next, secure both antenna heads to the logic board. Next, place the battery with adhesive. Next, secure the tape and battery connector. Next, secure the board frame by adding 9 screws. Next, before closing the device, it is a good practice to verify the functionality by powering off the device. Next, before installing the main back cover, ensure it has enough glue. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided back cover adhesive. Finally, we are adding binding clips to tie in the rear car with the body. If not, you can use some raw bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.